it's, it's strange sitting here because when you have a YouTube channel, you look at all the comments that come down. Now, Josh tells me he's never looked at one comment and that's his thing, but I do look at the comments because I want to see what people think. And there's a lot of people that question or put on the police are not fit for purpose. Uh, get shut of the police. There shouldn't be a police force anymore. So let's just break this down then. So if there weren't a police force, what would you do? If there weren't police here, how would it all work? So if you look at certain estates now, they're just lawless. The police are here. Um, the police are already in here and the, the estate's lawless. There's, they do Grand Theft Auto. Have you seen the videos when they do Grand Theft Auto now around the estates? There's people knocked down. Uh, no one cares. Imagine there's no police. Imagine there's no pursuit policy. Imagine the fact that you won't be able to go shopping in Leeds because every shop would be getting ram raided or attacked. Um, you won't be able to get a taxi because you're at fear of being kidnapped or raped or sexually solid. You won't be able to walk the streets at night because you felt you're going to get your throat cut because there'd be all the murderers and um, offenders that'd be walking the streets because there'd be no police to put these people behind bars. Um, we we live in a world of Facebook now, and I think it's quite funny that uh, if you live in an area, you're normally on your village site or wherever it's going to be, like Bingley site or Batley site or wherever it is, and someone's let a dog poo or someone's had a bump and it's like 300 comments below it, kill the dog, this dog shouldn't be allowed to poo on my grass, this dog's so... And Facebook is a correct, uh, what we put it now, judge, jury and executioner. Um, it's death by Facebook. You could put someone's picture on Facebook now uh, without even registering or making sure this is a correct person in a correct event, but you could put someone's picture, I'm not saying like George's or Josh's photo, saying this man's just tried to abduct my daughter from outside school. And within minutes, this person is the most hated person in the district of West Yorkshire. There's, there's like a gang of vigilantes out to get him and your face then is all over social media, which is shared between post and post and post. If you had no police, the country would just be lawless. There'd be nothing you could do. There'd be no way you could go. Now, the police are there for a certain reason. The police are there because they're put in by the Crown, which then is put in by the government and enforced by the Secretary of State, the Home Secretary and the Chief Constable. But a lot of people don't like us because, yeah, there are some bad seeds in the police. I understand that, there's, but there's bad seeds in all jobs. It'd be, there's a film called Escape to New York, have you seen it? Snake Plissken, and it's uh, filmed, it's Kurt Russell, uh, the American actor, and I think it's done in something like 1987, and he's been dropped off, they've put a big ring around New York, uh, in Manhattan, and that is prison, and then the, the, for all the criminals in there, that's what it'd be like with no police. Um, there'd be rapes, murders, there'd be, I mean, I'm not being funny, the people that can't look after themselves are stupid. We know that, don't we? People are stupid. The people with common sense have got nothing to fear by the police. Um, the people with common sense have probably never dealt with the police and can look after themselves. You could go to a desert island with 100 years and you'd, you'd survive. It's the people with no common sense and it's the people that are stupid or have got a criminal element that fear the police. And these are the people that want the police out. If you had no police, it'd be anarchy. The world would go to rat shit. So stop writing shit like get rid of the police, we're not fit for purpose. The police is fit for purpose and it will continue to be fit for purpose. Get a grip yourself. Surfshark is a VPN, which is a virtual private network. The VPN protects all your information on your device when you are on the internet looking at things. It is safe to use online and Surfshark do not track, store or use any of your data for anything else, so you are safe. Surfshark is the only privacy product which allows simultaneous connections. Unlimited! <laughs> I'm you can use it anywhere in the world. It's also got a product called CleanWeb, which stops trackers, malware, and phishing hooks. Phishing attempts. Phishing attempts. And my favourite feature is it allows me to go from UK Netflix to US Netflix at touch of a button and a click. Get 83% off and free months extra for free when you use discount code Ben Pearson. Surfshark, I love you. You're my hero. What do you think of, have you ever seen the film The Purge? Yes. What do you think of, so people that say, oh, what about, oh, I'm not getting rid of the police, but what about once a year? Purging. Uh, one night where it's like purge night, you can, all laws are made legal and... That film scares shit out of me. <laughs> I'd look out the be loads of people outside my house. Um, like I said, I know it's at far end of a far. 
and you, you can't do that but you can see why they've put the the thinking behind it because a lot of people would say well let's just get shot at shit or let's get shot at criminal element and stuff like that but again that's not for us to decide if someone just doesn't like you they don't have the right to come up to you and assault you hurt you or kill you just because your face doesn't fit that's going back into realms of what happened two three four hundred years ago um you, you, we do live in a different society we live in a different culture and people have the right to feel safe and be safe um but the way i've said it and my dad said it and my granddad said it if you're not a bad person you've got nothing to fear back to these things, these people who go i don't want to give my dna just imagine give your dna when you're born get your fingerprints done when you're 10 years old and have a photo database system, well, there'd be no crime. There'd be literally no crime. There'd be no unsolved murders. There'd be no unsolved rapes. And all these people that are going, well, you can't catch a split. Well, you don't have a, an imaginary, what they call, um, psychic ball or whatever it was. There'd be none of it because you'd be found. You'd be, your DNA, why would you not want to give your DNA at birth? Just explain to me what would it, what would it achieve if you don't give your DNA? What would it achieve if you give your DNA? It achieve people getting caught, but it's not. So it goes on a database system. What's the problem with that? What is the problem with it going on a database system? Every person, I think, in the world should have to carry a form of ID, whether it's a it's a it's a, an ID like in states or it's a driving license. It should have your photo on. It should have your fingerprint on. It should have your DNA, and it should be a crime not to carry it. And everyone in the world should have this. And then people say, well, you shouldn't have that. It's Big Brother. Why should you not have it? What's it going to prove? Because all the good people in the world would have one. All the speculists and think the government's against you. Well, what are the government against you for? What are they going to do? If you've got nothing to hide, what would you have a problem? Yeah. So the only people that have got something to hide or are going to mourn are the criminal element. So there's, there's, there's no reason not to do it. And if you want to live in a safe society where the police are fit for purpose, we've got less murders, we've got less rapes, and we've got less assaults, we need to have like DNA taken when we're younger, we need to have fingerprints taken as a natural thing. I mean, can you imagine all these people that are burgled and say, we've bur why is it that way around? We've burgled a house, we've found a fingerprint, but we don't have him on record. So you've got to wait for him to be a criminal before we've got him on record. Why are people not on a record system anyway? So crime will not be how it is. Sort the crime out before it happens and then have it so it's like a, a no crime area, like Demolition Man. I like that film. The police are how they are now because um, the, the members of public have, have put the police in a situation where we are now. Because what happened in 2000, 2001, 2002, is that where you technically old school of policing, as in um, police dealt with crime, um, victims of crime, and uh, a criminal act. But the government changed, I'm not going into the rabbit hole of the government or anything like that, but the government changed and they said you've got to treat everyone as a victim that rings up, regardless of who it is and what it is. <clears throat> so then people bring ringing up and saying, I want a taxi home. If I don't get a taxi home, it's my right. So we had to start giving people lifts home. I've got a cat stuck up a tree. We had to start going um, to deal with people as a victim of that way. Uh, and then everyone fell under the victim issue. And in, imagine the fact of the ring up and say, I want a taxi home. Uh, we're not going to give you a taxi home. Right, I'm going to hurt myself or something happens. They will say, my son or my daughter made a phone call. And when I'm not about a child, I'm on about someone who's 21, have made a phone call to the police saying... Um, you didn't pick them up and this has happened. So the police become responsible then for everything that happened around them. So we had to go down a, how can I put it, I think in the army they call it arts and minds, but you had to go around a, a softly, softly approach and everything first. So we go down the road of, you want us to be um, soft, not overbearing, not pick people up because of how they are acting and everyone's got a freedom to walk where they want and do what they want at that time. So you can't stop a lad down an alleyway at three in the morning and wear a hoodie because it's against his human rights. But then on the other hand, you'll complain then because we haven't gone to your burglary, we haven't gone to the assault that you've been injured with because we've got no time to do it because we are dealing with the other things that are more important. You cannot have it both ways. The door doesn't swing both ways on this. You either have to decide if you want us to be down the middle and we only investigate crime, victims of crime, or the threats of crime, danger, or endanger your life. If we do that, we will not be coming to people who have got 
issues getting a taxi home we will not be doing with people that I think this person is vulnerable in the house Mrs Miggins at 90 year old we will not be doing that's a social service aspect but the police have gone so much down one route to eagerly please all members of the public and to be there which we should be there but we should only be in like firefighters only deal with the fact when there's a fire or there's someone up a mountain or in the water they don't deal with someone that can't get from A to B that is not in their remit ambulance people can't deal with someone that wants to um, do something because it's not in their remit but with the police it's always in our remit to help and we should get out of that we should go down the lines of just being there to investigate crime deal with people threats to life and who's been a victim and that way then it will restore people's faith back in the police um, and that's where I think it should be going are you uh, are you glad that you've you're not in the police force anymore? Yeah, I'm I'm 100 glad. I don't think I could do it now. I think there's too much that's happened over the last two or three years, with um, things that I won't talk about, which has all been on the news and things like that. Um, but I think it's so hard now, and then there's so much of a complaint culture. There's so much people mourning about what's going on, and you just can't. I don't think you're given the right tools. And again, you're meant to please everybody. And you, I don't see how. If you're, if you're a victim of crime and you've got someone in your shop robbing you and you come in and jump on the suspect, lock the suspect up, there's too much that suspect's now complaining that you've been heavy-handed, even though he's robbing the shop. He's got more rights than the police officer. And then you got to court and you're ripped apart in court by the, either the CPS or the defence or the witnesses and you are treated as though you are the criminal rather than the other way around, like it were in 40s and 50s and where you are the bobby and you are the police officer, all that lack of respect's completely gone. The, the name doesn't mean half the things it used to mean, but it needs to go back and we're, we're there because we're there to enforce the law. If you're not a criminal and you're not doing anything wrong, you shouldn't ever be afraid of a police officer. They're only there to help.